At the College of Natural Sciences, freshmen are gaining practical work experience on a variety of cutting edge topics. It's a program called the Freshman Research Initiative. In 2005, we started with 15 students in each of three research groups, and the next year had 250 students in seven different research groups. And now we're at over 700 students with over 25 different research groups. Maybe the most important thing they get out of the FRI is they get to be scientists right away. And in the process, they're going to discover something that's unique, something nobody else on the planet has ever known about the universe before. That's why we do science. They get to do things that nobody else has done. And that's what really helps them decide, is this something that I love? Is this something that I want to do? Or is this something I can respect for the rest of my life? Freshmen don't know what they can't do. This is, in fact, a very revolutionary program, and I mean that in every sense of the word, because we have streams in autonomous vehicles, robot cars. We have streams in gaming. We have streams in genomic engineering. It is incredible, all the things we do. I've been at UT anyway for 30 years, and you might ask, does it get stale? And uh, the answer is no, and the reason it doesn't get stale is because of the kids. I really believe that all education is self-education, and so all I really want are students that are excited enough to go and learn for themselves. And I can guide them and direct them, and I can you know, save them some time, but mostly I'm looking for them to come in and be excited. And if they do that, the rest is easy. When you get cynical and you look at the newspaper and you think, oh, there's no hope for our country or our planet, and then you look at these kids, and it's different. And the FRI program gives these students a chance to succeed at a level that affects not only the University of Texas and the state of Texas, but affects our country and the world. We're cultivating genius, and that's essential for our survival on this planet.